Hello, everybody. Hey, it is coffee time. Coffee time. My hair flat on top. Why does it do that? Oh, because it's raining. All right. Probably. Sticking out like a Volkswagen. <laughs> when we're... <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about something tonight that every one of us are faced with from time to time, and it is called disheartened. There's a yes. lot of people can be disheartened. I saw people today, and they were disheartened. Their hearts were heavy. They were burdened. And, and I felt so sorry for them because I knew that God was the answer, and I knew that His Word was the answer. His Son is the Word. He is the answer. And there was nothing I could do but just come home and pray for them because they need it. And right now we're going to pray for everybody in Jesus' name that um, that needs prayer. If you do, let us know. We'll pray for you. Tracy, you want to lead us? Quit and bring me my phone over here, please. Bring me my phone, please. <laughs> That's kind of a way to get their attention. Mm -hmm. Yes, we'll pray. Lord, we just ask your blessing upon this study tonight. God, we just ask that your Holy Spirit would lead and guide us to say the right things, say the things that we need to say. And Lord, let your anointed word go forth and just touch lives and draw people close to you, change their hearts, change their minds, give them a hunger for you, a hunger for your word, and a hunger for the peace that passes all understanding that we know that only you can give. And we praise you and we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, baby. Let's see if I can get us on here so I can share yes. us. And y'all share us too. We got says two people is watching, but that might be one of them might be you. Let's go pray. Rebecca and Kim. Oh, hey girls. Hey ladies, how you doing tonight? Brother Harwood said, so, Hey ladies. Is he watching with us tonight? I don't know if he is or not. Oh, I gotta turn it down. We could talk jazz. about it since he's not, but we won't. We won't. Oh, there's Jim Hallengren. Hey, Jim. Hey, how buddy. are you? Oh, I and love Rebecca that made all time today. We were almost late, Rebecca. Yeah, we were. Because <laughs> we like to talk. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay. So, since Brother Harwood ain't here tonight, we'll talk about him. <laughs> yeah. But tonight we're just, we're, um, if you have tuned in, it is not by accident. We're talking tonight about being discouraged. We're talking about what the Bible says about it and what God can do for you if you've been discouraged. And Tracy, you want to look, look up some scriptures for us? I will. Get this out of the way? I will. I've got, to, we're going to start out reading in Isaiah tonight. I'm going to start with Isaiah 40, 31. Um, did I say 40, 31? Yes. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Amen. And then uh, 41, 10. Go down a little further. It says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. And we all know, you know who that is. Yeah, that's the Lord. That's Jesus. And Amen. you know, I want to quote this one scripture that just came to my mind. Somebody out there is really hurt tonight because this scripture is for you. It says, weeping may endure for the night. But joy, joy comes in the morning. morning. Amen. Amen. Praise you, Lord. So there's Angie and Jim. Oh, man, this is awesome. So we just want y'all to know that if, if Satan's kicked you around this week and things have happened, don't worry because your footsteps are ordered by the Lord. If you're trying to live for Jesus, you don't have to worry. He's going to take care of things that don't Amen. even look like that it's going to work out. But they will. And Tracy. you can't look at things in the flesh. You have to just 
Keep trusting in the Lord, no matter what you see with your eyes. And speak the word. God just wants believe to be in your heart. Yes. And quote the word. Quote the word. Remind him, like Jerry said, he likes to be reminded and of his word. Yeah, and, and, when, and speak faith. Say, this may look like a storm around me, but I'm going to praise you in this storm, Lord. Yes. I remember that song. We played that at John's funeral. Praise, praise, praise you in, in the, the storm. storm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, we did. And it was good. It was awesome because that's what I was doing. And he woke me up that morning, the Lord did. And I went downstairs and opened up my Bible. And it was like, trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to your own understanding. Now, when, he, when I got to the part that said, lean not to your own understanding... I didn't understand why a man would cut his little pinky and then die from it a week later. But God told me not to try to understand it. Lead not to your own understanding. So no matter what it is, don't even try to understand it. Just trust in God. That's right. Just walk in faith, believing. Yeah, that's it. It may not look like the Lord's doing anything. It may not feel like the Lord's mm -hmm. doing anything. But that's what we as humans do. We we watch for results. We wait for a feeling. We, you know, that's that's the human flesh nature. But you, we can't do that if we're walking by faith. We have to just trust in the Lord and believe his word, believe what he says in his word. And in Isaiah 42, 16, he says, I will bring thee, I will bring the blind by the way that they knew not. I will lead them in paths that they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. These things will I do unto them and not forsake them. He will Amen. never forsake. That's right. His he blood. will never walk away from you. Right. If you feel distant toward the Lord, it is not God. You just he's a prayer away. Don't give up. Don't give up. No matter what the situation looks like, don't give up. Start speaking that faith. I know this is going to be all right. Start singing that song. I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. Oh, 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 I've got a feeling everything's going to be all right. And just keep praising him. You know, that I'm telling you, the Lord listens. When his people start praising him, he inhabits the praise of his people. Yes, he does. And where two or more are gathered in his name, he's in the midst. He's mm, in that's the midst. Right. And he's here with us, and there's no distance between us and the Lord. That's for sure. And, you know, this could be a trial. It could be a test for you. Do you really believe? Because our faith is going to be exercised just like our bodies if we start out to get physically fit. That might not be us. <laughs> Probably not going to be. I need to get physically fit, and I might. I don't know. I Unless the Holy Spirit just takes a hold. <laughs> um, Amen, sister. <laughs> you might I know it. Be careful. That's right. Um, and we know that all things, and y'all have heard us say this. We probably say this scripture Every at day. least once a night anyway <laughs> on here. That's not counting what we say during the day. Amen. But it's Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Amen. That is my most favorite verse. That's gotten me through so many years of, Lord, what is going on? Mine is, though the weeping may endure for the night, joy comes in the morning. Amen. That's it does. And what is the one of your redemption draweth nigh? Look up, Look for, your up for your redemption draweth nigh. Hey, I heard all kinds of too. stuff today. Uh, my One of the drivers at work told me that Russia and China and another country was uh, picking on Ukraine again and they were about to have a battle and he was getting prepared and he said, have you seen the Red Dawn? And he showed me the... Uh, previews of it and it looked amazing I said you know what it sounds like to me and he said what I said it sounds like Armageddon's on its way and it is we think we got problems I talked to a young lady this evening I won't mention her name and I said you know something you think you got it rough 
I said, your children are not in St. Jude's. You're not laying at the funeral home or your children. I said, you're not doing without. We've got food. She's got everything she needs. And I said, do not say that God is unfair, that God blesses one and not another. That is not That's right. That's not true. No, it isn't. Everybody has their own individual journey that they have to walk. That's right. And, and you know, when we and realize... The Lord don't love one more than the other. No, he is no respecter of person, I'm the Bible says. Cret, I am Missy Cretzer. I am Missy Cretzer. He's on with us. We are glad to have you newcomers. We started a new Facebook because the devil shut our other one down. So we started yes. another one, and we've got over 2,100 people. Praise God. Um, That's awesome. Yes. Amen. Psalms 34. Uh, I'm going to start at verse 14. No. No, no, no. 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. Yes. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. It the, pays to do good. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and deliver them of all, out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save such as be of a contrite spirit. Mm -hmm. That's right. Praise you, Jesus. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Amen. Amen. You know, he knows you so well. He knows you better than you've ever known yourself or your wife or your husband. God knows you best. He knows everything about you. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. And all he wants is a relationship with you. He wants you to love him. We have a free will. It is your choice whether you serve God or not. Yes. God's not going to make you serve him. Right. And Jesus already went to the cross. Yes. For all these burdens, for all these sicknesses, mm -hmm. for all these afflictions. Just like Stephanie said, he didn't take those stripes on his back for nothing. That's Start right. believing. Say, Lord, That's you right. took those stripes for my healing. I mm -hmm. claim it in Jesus' name. Because we're going to have to stand strong against the devil when he comes at us with these fiery darts. Right. And Lord, you said that the footsteps of the righteous are ordered by you. Yes. Father, don't let me take a step that's not ordered. Amen. By you. Me too. Hallelujah to that. Yes. Because. And, uh, let me see what Psalms 55.22 says, Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. He will establish you. Brother Harwood was telling us, um, I think Tracy's heard this. He told me that when he went in surgery one day, they didn't know if he'd make it out. It was his heart. He'd had seven heart attacks. And he said that he had this vision or what, he don't know. He was out of it in the in the the room, the operating room. He said that he was standing on this sand and all of a sudden this sand started moving away from him and was like going to overtake him. Just He was going to fall into it. And he said out of nowhere these hands reached up and grabbed him around the ankles and held on to him till there was a rock in under him. And you know, God brought him through that surgery and God blessed him and he is preaching today at our church, this little church that Tracy's so kindly let us use, and it's uh, the Old Sage Auction building at 1799 Old Sage Auction. If Old you Sage want to, Road. Old Sage Road. I never did that right. Why don't you start doing that? <laughs> but we meet at 3 o'clock, and, you know, don't expect everything to be fine and, and a, a royal palace. We are just there to serve the Lord. Yeah. But you're sure welcome. And we're not asking for money. We're not on here asking for nobody for no money. We're on here to give to you all. We're giving you what God has laid on our hearts to do. Are we worthy of it? No. God's going to pick the ones most unlikely to do this because that way he gets all the glory. Right. And if he can cause a donkey to speak, he can use Tracy and myself. 
And that's the way we see it. Amen. What you got, Tracy? Amen. I've got Psalms 147, 3. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. He telleth the number of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. Amen. And great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is infinite. I'm reading your comments, Jim and Rebecca. I know you're exactly right. Too many people have been brainwashed that Jesus is not in control. That's exactly right. There's not a sparrow fall through the air that the Lord don't know about. That's right. And I that, read that the other. I just read how that the great is our now. God? I'm telling you, how great yes. is our God, Lord? We and it's praise not you. just and it's not just um, stubbornness; it's rebelliousness. That's what it I is. I mean, it's a spirit of rebellion that's mm -hmm. going across this earth. Mm -hmm. He says it's so much easier to believe and let the Holy Spirit control who you are. I'm living proof that the Holy Spirit is real and living within. Those who believe, amen, we are too. Because we're teaching, we don't sing we, over here. <laughs> <laughs> we and don't have a piano player. <laughs> we need, yeah, we need a piano player. Right? <clears throat> hey, Jim, anytime you want to come over here and give your testimony, we'd love to have you. Absolutely. That goes for any of y'all. And if you want to tell yes. about the goodness of the Lord, just come on. Yes, we want to hear it. Missy, he, he, she said he knows... How many hairs are on our head? Yes, that was in that Amen. same scripture with the sparrows. That's right. And you know, how much more will he clothe us and the lilies on the field of the field? You know, when I gave, when I had Matthew, my son, we lived in Johnson City and didn't have a bit of insurance. And I'd never been on welfare. I didn't know how any of that worked. And I didn't try it because I didn't, I just didn't know about it. But I was so afraid that I would not be able to go in the hospital without insurance. It just worried me to death. And I opened up the Bible and turned to Matthew. And those scriptures, mm -hmm. how, how he closed the lilies of the field. And mm -hmm. how, those, is it 1120? Is that the one that you yeah, looked up for me tonight? Yeah. I'll just read it. Matthew 11. Yeah, and I named Matthew after this man in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven twenty eight. Oh, Jim said he'd be honored. Well, we'd be honored too, Jim. You just let us know when we do this Monday through Friday at seven p.m. Yes, and that's not the same one. But this says, "Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls." For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Hallelujah. I don't Amen. know why tonight. I just feel the presence of the Lord. Yes. So many times, so many times when you just feel like you can't put one foot in front of the other, he just picks you up and carries you. He really almost literally has done that for me. Yes, he has. And I saw him do it. And you saw him do it for me. Mm-hmm. And we don't know what y'all are going through, but Jesus I just got this there. tremendous love through the Lord for y'all. And just want you to know that God loves you so much. He loves you so much. And where time is so short. You know, these these things are lining up. When, when Donald Trump didn't get president, I said, you know, there's two reasons why he didn't. Well, three. The votes, but we know all about that. We can't go there. We ain't going there. Y'all be calling this what? Not diamonds and lace. What was it? Uh, sackcloth and ashes. Yeah, sackcloth and ashes. <laughs> diamonds and well, I can't remember that other one's name. Diamonds and something. Yeah. And we don't. We're not gonna be them. But you know, before Israel, before the the scripture is fulfilled, and it's going to be fulfilled, regardless of what happens. Yeah, that's it, Rebecca. Diamond and silk. Thank you. <laughs> Samantha, bless her heart. Samantha, I'm praying for you. She's had vertigo, and I'm telling you, she came up to pick up her stuff from the auction today, and she did good walk straight line. <laughs> oh, my god. It's gosh. not funny. It's a bad thing, but she was funny. Yeah, we do, honey. She knows you all over. I've been praying you. for. But, <clears throat> excuse me. 
what was I going to say? I, I hate it when I have a senior moment, and they're they're happening more often. I don't know what you're going to say. Okay. Um, Y'all know where I stand on that. Yes, text me tomorrow, and we'll set something up. Oh, I will, Jim. Let me write this down. Let me write down his number. Do we have here? I got this. You got a pen? Yes, right here. Uh, 423-618-5419. Okay. Okay. I know Jim's been through some physical problems, and I mean, it's he's gone through it. I don't know how many surgeries that man's had. I know, probably. He's very so. talented. I mean, I've... Let's I don't know if I've ever met anybody any more talented than Jim Halligren. Yeah. I, I sure really can play. Don't. Oh, yeah. Well, he recorded a lot of my songs, you know? Mm -hmm. A lot of them. Yeah, I remember when y'all had, you had your group. King's West Vocal out, Bands. Mm -hmm, and y'all yeah. went out and sang and stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't know, do we have, did we have the Gospel Rangers back then? I, I don't know. Have. I think so. I think we did. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm old. I forget. Okay, I know what I was talking about now. I was talking about the two things that had to happen before Jesus comes back. Okay. Number one, all nations will turn against Israel. That's right. got to happen. And if Donald Trump had been in office, we would not be turning against Israel. We, the people, won't anyway. But the government possibly will. Well, it will. Does, does the Bible, the Bible says say it? Will. It, says it, will. it will. And it will. And then <clears throat> number two, no one is going to be over there with a peace treaty that has been set aside by God for the Antichrist to deceive. And that's the way it's going to be. We can't we can't make it happen because it ain't going to happen. Yeah, it's prophecy gonna is like, going to come. God's prophecy is going to come to pass. That's right, it is, no matter what. He said, let there be, and there was. Angie Juliet's texting me. <laughs> she's <laughs> FaceTiming me. Tell her I'll talk Maybe to her. Maybe she's trying to watch her live and accidentally get God back. love her. Israel has been getting bombed. Not on much news either, but it's happening. Mm -hmm. It sure is. I'm telling you, folks, this is lining up for the end. It is lining up for the end of time. And you, once that trumpet blows, it's over. Once G, Jesus is coming back twice, he's coming back, and we will meet him in the air. And the Bible says this. It says that the dead in Christ shall rise, and then we that remain will go up too. And then he's coming back to fight in the battle of Armageddon. Yes. And that's just the way it is. And Israel's become a nation 70 years ago. This year, May 5th, actually, May 5th. 70 years. And some guy predicted Jesus would be back May 5th. Now, that guy just blew it. <laughs> if God Why was coming back, that? he just messed it up for I us. I mean, Jesus told everybody, I don't know, even know when. That's right. Even the Lord doesn't. Only the Father. That's right. Which proves the Trinity once again. Yes. But we are going to be ready. We're going to take everybody with us we can. I don't want to look behind and see anybody. And I I could look behind now, look back on my life, and see the people that I did not tell about Jesus. And I'm going to have to answer for that one day. It, it's going to break my heart. I guess that's when the Lord's going to wipe the tears from my eyes because nothing's going to matter any more than that knowing that you could have helped somebody and pointed the way to Christ, that he was their answer, and you didn't give them that as an answer, shame on me. And right. shame on you if you're not witnessing for the Lord. We've got to do this. We've got to figure out a way to say something. Yeah, something. God will give you what to say. Yes, He, he will He'll give you the words right. to say. And, and and maybe, I mean, I used to pray for the Lord to put people in my path that I could help or mm -hmm. give an encouraging word to. Or Yeah. You know, you can do that. You can you can pray for that. Yes. And you know, <clears throat> That's a ministry in itself. Just being a prayer warrior. Uh, my Aunt Joy, she, she can't, she can't get out. And uh, she can't do a whole lot anymore because of physical problems that she has. And 
she is one more prayer warrior. I mean, she will pray awesome. and pray till God moves. But there's always something that you can do for the Lord, always. Mm -hmm. And um, this is, and um, we kind of got off here. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, and give you an expected end. Then ye shall call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. Amen. Amen. He's yes. real. He is God. Let's get in his word and start claiming these promises. Yes. Let's step out on faith and believe him for somebody's healing. You know, instead of going to the hospital when you're sick, which if you need to go to the hospital, you need to go to the hospital. But how about trying Jesus too? Yes. Amen. You know, it used to, when I was a kid, if you got sick, you went to, I remember myself, I would get sick with tonsillitis and all I wanted to do was go to church and be prayed for. That's all I wanted. I didn't want to see a doctor because we were poor. And back then, they didn't have the welfare program. If they did, my parents missed it. So I uh, never heard anything about a welfare until I was, I was born in 67. And I never heard nothing about no welfare until I was grown. Well, I was born in 54, and I didn't. I didn't know nothing about it, but I'm sure it was, it was there. Possibly. I don't know. I don't either. I don't. I don't know. But Jesus is there, whether you got money or not, because there's going to come a day when your money will do you no good. All the money. Right. What profits a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Yeah, and we don't know what what all we're going to have to go through, no, so we, we need don't. to practice. Walking in faith now, when it ain't hard times, it really is oh, yeah. not. That's We're, right. I think that, well, let me speak for myself. I have been so spoiled that Same. when I feel sorry for myself and then I see somebody else's problems, I think, my Lord, what is wrong with me? Yeah. You know, I've, I'm so blessed mm -hmm. and have been so blessed, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, we just, we better learn to trust him now. Amen. And we better get the word in our, in our spirits now. Mm -hmm. Because when it really, when it really gets bad. And it's going to. You better be able to arm yourself. <coughs> That's right. You better surrender everything to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Raising, I raise my hands because when I do that, I feel like the Lord knows that I'm surrendering everything to him. And that's supposed to be what it means. Nikki says, some people are so poor, they only, the only thing they have is money. That's right, Nikki. Wow, amen. And that Samantha says, me too, I'm spoiled, but I do want better for others. Yes. Yes. Amen. And that don't always mean financially. It can mean that's right. lots of things. Lots of things. To live this life and be a rich person all the way through, have everything your heart desires, have good health, have wealth, everything that the physical eye wants. But if you die without Christ and go to hell, you can just about guarantee that all those things came from Satan because he was going to keep you happy so you didn't have to turn to the Lord. Yeah, and you can't take none of that stuff with you right. to heaven or to hell. That's right. Either way you go, it's just stuff. I thank it's God for stuff. my walk. I look back over my life and I say, you know, well, I didn't have this, I didn't have that. But you know something? If it hadn't been for those things, I would have never turned to God as a child. Right. Did I stray? Yes. Me too. I did. Me too. But there was one night I turned over in bed and I said, Lord, if there's anything left of my life, it's yours. I don't want it anymore. I've hurt too many people and done too many wrong things. And he heard me. He heard that. Yes, he did. And, you know, he, he saved me. He he hears the cries of his children. Yes. And all, we, like sheep, have gone astray. That's Even right. if you don't go astray as far as, oh, I'm still in church and I'm still doing this and doing everything to where it looks like a, a an eye pleaser. But if your heart is not right with Christ... Or if you're judgmental of your brother or your sister, you can't do that. You just or you're can't self do righteous. it. Self righteous spirit. Yes. The righteous, self righteous people crucified so Christ. Cruel. 
-hmm. So cruel. That's so cruel. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, nobody knows what somebody's going through. We, we can't know. read minds. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't, we don't know what kind of walk they're having to walk. That's right. But we always got an opinion on what they need to do. Yeah. You know, and that's wrong. Turn to Jesus. Just turn to Jesus. If it's any other, that's if you it. got any other answer that's other than turn answer. to Jesus, then keep it to yourself. Because it ain't going <laughs> to work for you anyway. Right. I mean, that's like putting a band-aid over a broken leg. It ain't going to heal like that. You've mm -hmm. got to go through some pain. And they've got to straighten that leg out and set it just right before they put the cast on it. Mm -hmm. Is it painful? Yes. But look at what you got in the long run. You get your leg back. Yeah. Now, I don't know you what kind of example gain. that was. You but. got heaven to gain. And John Allen always says that scripture, for what would it profit a man to gain the whole world but lose his soul? What have you, what have you gained? Yes, that's right. That is exactly right. You, it, you might live uh, heaven on earth, but there's always going to be something. A rich man is always mindful of his money and what if somebody takes it or, you know, they've got a lot of worries. It's just not like me. I'm poor. I don't care. <laughs> I mean. But I get what I want and I go to Burks. I'm good. Right. I mean. This stuff, like I said, the the things the things of this this earth is just fat things. I'm going to Second Corinthians four, not eight. You know Jesus had to walk everywhere he went, and we you know our cars are just sometimes we just feel like they're not good enough. We just need something a lot better. I bet if we had to walk a to the city to city like Jesus and the disciples did, I bet we'd be glad to crawl in anything. You crawl on a donkey? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> or a horse. And here we've got horse power. <laughs> right. Nikki and Brian got a little Mini Cooper. Let's see. That. Let's, um, you didn't hear me, did you? Nikki and Brian got a Cooper? A Mini Cooper? Thee, Lord have mercy. Those are tiny. Y'all better be careful in that thing. <laughs> <laughs> they are careful. little. Let's see. I think cute. that BMW makes those, don't they? I don't know. I think it I think they do. Nikki, who makes Mini Coopers? I mean they're I really they're unique. Baby, I believe they're baby beamers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they are. <laughs> yeah, they're cool kind of little cars. She said it's zoomy. I bet it is. What's a zoomy? It's the opposite of Remy. No. Oh, it's Zoomy. Okay, got it's that. Zoomy, it goes. She, it <laughs> must go pretty fast. She's. Hey, Wanda Heard. Bless your sweetheart. And Samantha, yeah. I saw you on there. Eight and nine. Well, you know, we just love y'all. It's seeing your names up here just lights up my heart. Yes. It lights up my we heart. We appreciate it so much. Yes, and when y'all share it and. We see that others are viewed, and yeah, I'm, you know that's just one more person that we get to share the word with. And don't forget, Graham Scoppy Time, oh, G R A M S yeah. Coffee Time, and it's and on. It's on YouTube, and I apologize I didn't get last night's uploaded, but I will have last night's and tonight's uploaded tonight. We fit just fine. Only to toddlers in the back seat, though. Well, Leo and Micah can ride with Right. <laughs> I don't know how, it depends on how zoomy it is. <laughs> you ain't going to be zooming with my babies. Hey, Matthew, I love you. Hey, Matt. <coughs> I was telling them out why I named you Matthew. You missed it again. I'm sure he knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. Matthew 11, no, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians 4, 8 and 9. It says, But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Amen. Hallelujah. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus 
might be made manifest in our body. Amen. Oh, that's the same one. Okay. For, for we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh, which is what we've been talking about all week long, about walking in the Spirit and, and not in the, the flesh. Of the, Lord. the only way to do that is keep your mind on Jesus. I mean, It really is, for we walk <coughs> by faith and not by sight. That's it. And that is um, verse 5, oh no, I'm sorry, chapter 5, 7 in 2 Corinthians 3. Corinthians. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm just. I feel like staggering, like Samantha was doing. She had vertigo. Bless her heart. I know it's awful. That is horrible. We had to make her sit down. You know, life. Is, you think now. Here's what you young people think. Let me just fill you in. Just oh, tell us, my... young people, what you think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a young whippersnapper <laughs> compared to me. <laughs> right. You think when, oh, well, if I can just get these kids past the taller stage. Oh, if I can just get them through high school. Oh, if I can just get them through college, or maybe they don't go to college, whatever. But if I can just get them out of the house, I'll just be so happy. But what you don't realize is they're going to come back and bring more with them, like I said that time. <laughs> but that's okay, too. Mm -hmm. But the older you get, the more struggles you almost really actually have. You think you've got a lot raised in your family, but you got your health, and God help the ones that don't. That's got to be a heavy burden. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, I know Matt and Justine don't get a lot of sleep. But those I days are I I've I'm been there. Either. And I'm single and living alone, and I don't get a lot of sleep. But, you know, the older you get, the more you realize that you're not invincible. That I was day, so fortunate when Davey and Corey were little. They always slept through the night. And I don't know what happened you to them grandkids. To Matt, them grandkids. When, I, when I had Harley, and, well, Roxy was pretty good about sleeping through the night until she got a little older, but... I don't, I just, I just couldn't understand. I thought, what are, what's wrong with these kids? I've never seen kids that don't sleep all night. Well, Matt, after, don't. After four months old, I never heard of such. Oh, yeah. His are a year old and three years old. And I did the same thing with them I did with Corey. Four months old, put the cereal to them. <laughs> That's right. And um, when they're that age put the cereal to him anyway mm -hmm. give him some cereal before bed it always makes him sleep real soon yeah. yeah justine told me the other day she messaged me and said she thought that they might have them a little spoiled to like them laying down with them and rocking them and no. i didn't know you could no, rock one to so. sleep too much <laughs> i, don't, I, don't I rocked every one of mine what yeah but every kid when they get sleepy and lay down they're going to sleep yeah, so I they don't get know their bellies full and get warm. and I don't know. It's just a burden you got to bear. Thank God it's no worse. It's a lot yeah. burden compared because they're going to grow up so quick. And it you know what? Like, that, a, like just a flash. Yeah. It really is. And people told me that and I'd think, it don't feel like it. But, yeah, <laughs> you sure. didn't have Corey, but you did have Jeanette. <laughs> You rest your case right, on that. Right, I rest my case on that one. <laughs> well, you think, you know, but you just got to remember, take time out for your children to teach them about the Lord. If you failed there, you have failed. It's better for a person never to have been born, the Bible says, than to die and go to hell. Right. We are going to quit giving them coffee all day. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. then, we love coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they say if kids are hyper, that some people give their kids coffee to calm them down. Works like Ritalin. Yeah, works the opposite. I don't know, I might have ADD or something like that, because I can get up in the morning and drink two cups of coffee and go straight back to bed. I can do. <laughs> I can drink it all morning and sleep half a day. Yeah. But it's all I'll right. sleep good tonight, I know that. Oh, yeah. I know I will, too. Yeah, we... 
Our time's about up, Tracy. Yeah. Boy, Anybody have anything quick. to add? Anybody got any prayer requests? Yeah, Nikki knows it's going too quick. Nikki, is Mackenzie still going in the Navy? I want y'all to pray for Stephen. And he's Logan. in the Navy. Logan's in the Navy. And Mackenzie, I hope, doesn't go, but she signed up, so she's going. I want y'all to keep them in your prayers if you don't care, because they're my babies. They, I did the same thing Mackenzie did, but they didn't make me go. I refused. <laughs> Mackenzie. I did. I refused. Gotcha. I met David, fell in love, and I refused to go. You just told me. I talked to the people. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> told him exactly that. I do you hear me? I am not going. Well, we can court martial you, and you'll have to go to Nashville <laughs> and blah blah blah. And I'm like, I don't care where you send me. I still ain't going. <laughs> and then they never called me back. So you know. Rebecca's going to surgery Monday. We will be yes, yes. She isn't right. going to go. Hallelujah. Oh, she isn't Yay. going to go. Yay, Kenzie. Thank you, Jesus. Now tell us she can't change her mind. Okay, that's, that's right. good. That's the best news I've heard. Yay. She's not going. And we all got to pray for Rebecca. Tracy Lester on the Navy. That's all you got to do, girl. Bring this something. You ain't going. <laughs> I changed my mind. It's a woman's prerogative. That's right. They should put that in the paperwork. Well, you know, I would have went if they hadn't <clears throat> made me wait a whole year. I can't keep, I can't commit to something <laughs> like that a whole year before. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Rebecca is a veteran, and I can tell you that the military was the best experience I have ever had with any job. Bless her heart. Yeah, you know, she talked to me about that because I was concerned with Mackenzie. Oh, really? Yeah. Honey. Well, thank you for your service, Rebecca. Yes, Please God forgive bless me you. for not going. <laughs> 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 Sorry, girlfriend, I left you hanging, didn't I? <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> She already told them. You are not a hero. I want you I'm to I'm not that. a hero. <laughs> Rebecca is. Well, I, I didn't say even I consider fell in love. I know. So, I was too yeah. handsy, y'all. I wasn't going to go nowhere. Well, all right, guys. We love y'all so much. And we're going to pray that the Holy Spirit fall upon you. Yes. Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray that the Holy Spirit will fall upon every ear that's listening, Father, and that you will draw them close to the cross and love them like you have loved me, Lord. I adore you, Father, and I thank you for this ministry. I thank you for everything in our lives that, that you have blessed us with and bless these people, Lord, and build our faith, Father, and teach them things that they wouldn't or normally know. Teach them out of the ordinary something that they've been wanting to know. In Jesus' name, go with them and bring us all back again, Father. If it be thy <laughs> will, tomorrow night, amen. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for Rebecca. Yes. Lord, we just lift Rebecca up to you. We thank you for the work that you're doing in her body. We thank you for all of the good reports. We believe the report of the Lord. We just yes. ask God that you would just lead and guide all of the caregivers. Yes. And be right there with her, Lord, the whole entire time. God, just let this go simple and easy and have a rapid recovery in Jesus' name. We thank you for your healing touch. Yes. And Lord, we Amen. thank you for all the people out there, but for ones that need a touch from you, Lord. That is exactly why you took those stripes yes. on your back was for our healing. Yes. And Father, reach out to Samantha with her vertigo. Yes, and Lord, touch with her. Linda Kaler and her brother. And Father, there's so many. We can't think of all of them, but you know and you heard their requests. Yes, Lord, and these families that have lost loved ones today and yesterday, God, just be with those brokenhearted families. We've read tonight how that you hold up your children and that, that you comfort them. And Jesus, you left the Holy Spirit for our comfort, and we thank you for that. Thank you so much. And we just give you praise and honor and glory for your worthy. Yes, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
We love y'all, and till tomorrow night, same bat time, time. Same, same bat channel. channel. Bye, y'all. Bye. Can you see it? Did you get it?